right, let's check out the Pantheon in the rain. Piazza della Rotonda in the rain. It's not normally how you see it, but it is stunning nevertheless. The inscription attributing the pantheon of Hadrian to Marcus Agrippa. Here we see the majestic external porch, transition block, and rotunda of the pantheon. Pivoting from the piazza down to the entrance of the Pantheon. Originally, you uh, approached it and entered up into the temple through a series of stairs now buried beneath the modern pavement level. And here's what we're interested in. The oculus, about 27 feet across, open and exposed to the elements. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it snows. Once a year, rose petals are thrown down on the Pentecost celebration. And when we look across at that pavement that's been exposed to the elements, about two-thirds has been assessed as being either modern or relayed ancient pavements. But the design and the colored marbles here, the granite, the Numidian yellow, the Dukimian purple striations, that's the original scheme for decorating the Hadrianic era pantheon. You can see holes in the pavement at, at certain points where the water drains away into. But even with the downpour, just a little bit of the overall pavement gets wet. Scanning through the interior of the Pantheon, the marble pavement is largely original to decorative scheme. As we pivot up, the marble revetment is by and large added later. The stucco on the original coffered ceiling is modern, but that oculus, that opening lined with bronze, remains as it was almost 1900 years ago.